everybody. <laughs> Let me just uh, take off some of my layers. Which one to take off first? It's difficult to know. Um, just a little bit of an update, actually, because I'm aware that I haven't updated my uh, renovation and extension blog for a while. Um, and we have been moving forward, um, slowly but surely. So there's been loads going on. As you can see, the last video that I did, I was talking about the bricks and the insulation and the walls going up. We've done the roof. I've done a separate video on that anyway. So I'll put the link to that below. But we're now up, the building's up. Um, we've done lots since then. So there's lots still to do, but for the moment, we've decided we're gonna focus on upstairs because realistically, we can get this finished and that is in sight. So today we have been, as you can see, doing a bit of plastering. Um, we plastered all of this room. We had someone in to do uh, some of it and to help us with some of it, and I've been trying out bits myself. The thing is, we've got a nice little area in between the bedroom and what's gonna be the ensuite shower room down there or the sort of connected shower room down there. Um, a lot of which is going to be a cupboard, so it's a really good place for me to have a go at plastering because I really wanted to try it out and I will do a separate how-to video um, for that for anyone that's a complete amateur like me who would like to have a go at plastering. So I just thought I'd show you this as well. Where we're trying to blend the new plastering into the old plastering, there's some tricky little bits um, out there on the hallway area and we were lucky enough to get our hands on this, which is a giraffe uh, sander. And um, this also has actually dust extraction fitted in as well, so it's great for not making a mess, which we love. Um, and this has really helped us just to finish off those little bits out there, so it's been really useful. We ended up painting in here just using this um, Selco uh, mat. We just thought for now, we'll just get everywhere painted. Um, we've been, obviously you can see it's a complete mess in here, which is why I'm clearing up. But we're gonna have carpets down in here, so we weren't too worried about the floorboard, so it's been fine to make a mess. Now we're just getting on top of it, because tomorrow we're gonna have skirtings put in and uh, get ourselves towards a position where we can actually get the carpet laid and get in here. So it's really exciting, really great progress. What we absolutely love about this room and everyone who walks in this room says, wow, it's really big, is the ceiling, um, which makes it feel so much bigger than it is. And in a house like this, which is a 1950s ex council house, it's, um, you know, resources were tight when they um, built these and they've all got quite low ceilings and quite narrow corridors and they feel quite pokey in, in a lot of the house. So it's nice to come in here and just have a bit of space. So, um, obviously completely crazy PPE I had on there to clear up, but actually it is worth noting that you do need PPE when you're cleaning up. It's definitely worth having a dust mask because you're creating lots of dust, putting that dust back up into the air. Um, I've got my safety shoes on because it's a perfect opportunity to tread on a nail. Um, so we're trying to stay out of a &E if we can in this project. So far we've done it, but I probably shouldn't speak too soon, should I? Um, come through here and I'll show you what else we're up to. So this is basically where we're going to have a solar water tank. Um, we're also going to have an airing cupboard here, which we've never had before in this house. Um, in fact, we did originally, but we knocked through to make a slightly bigger bathroom. And then if you come through in here, this is the shower room where we've been doing some tiling. Done a few Instagram updates on that. Um, found these really great tiles in Selco that were really reasonable price. So we're going to actually be able to tile most of the room now, which is fantastic. Um, we've got underfloor heating in here and in the bedroom, which is a little bit of a luxury, um, but it's all coming together. So I just thought I'd show you this as well. Um, this is basically where we've got Cat6, so this is future-proofing our property really so that we can actually hardwire TV um, and internet uh, into this room in the future and stream films and things like that from our bedroom. We're gonna have a wardrobe along here, but we're gonna somehow incorporate a space for the TV within that. So this is where our bed's gonna go over here against this wall, and down here we've got the sockets, and we're gonna have a new socket, new style socket that's got the USB um, points in as well, so we can charge things like phones next to our bed, which would be great, because at the moment, like most people, we've got a long, complex lead system trying to charge up all the things you need. Um, and this is gonna be the light controls here, and we're actually also gonna have in here, because of the really hot summers we've had recently, we're gonna have a fan as well. Um, a ceiling fan so that's going to be amazing so we're ready for every season in here because we've got underfloor heating and then we've got the fan um, so you, yeah we'll be in here the whole time I think um, so there we go a bit of an update really just to tell you uh, that we are making progress sometimes you get uh, sidetracked a little bit when you're doing these things and we have kids birthdays and illnesses and things that knock you off uh, off your flow for a few weeks but we're back on it. Hopefully next video, video I bring you will be in a finished room and uh, I'll be able to really inspire you with some of our progress. Um, but for this evening, I'm going to get back to it. I've got more cleaning to do. Won't forget my PPE. Don't worry, I'm not about to go on about cleaning all the time, by the way. I haven't been hinged. I'm kind of like the anti-hinch, really. I hate cleaning. And actually, a lot of the uh, design, design decisions that we've made during this build process has all been about making it as easy to clean and maintain as possible because, quite honestly, I would rather do other things with my life. Um, but thank you very much for watching once again. Um, please do subscribe if you want to keep up with our progress. And uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the bell and do all those other things that are uh, great to do on YouTube and come back soon. Bye bye for now.
Oh.